Hey guys, so I thought I'd film outside today, well for this video, because I just finished filming a makeup tutorial and I did that inside and I had to move around all my lights so I'd get good lighting and then I moved them all back and then I wanted to film my July favorites today I was like, well, I'm just going to film outside so I don't have to move the lights around today. So I think it's pretty good. Ignore my dog if you see him in the background, he's over there right now, but um, I thought I'd film. So, uh... I just brought a big bucket out of stuff. So first, I'll do makeup because I don't have too much makeup because it's summer I don't wear that much. Thirsty. These cups are amazing. I'll add this. It's the Copco. Uh, you can see it's all, it's just a green cup. They sell them at like, I don't know, like pro probably Target and stuff, but these cups are amazing. I just have mine with lemonade right now. I really like that. Okay, so on for makeup. I have my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Eyeshadow. This looks like this. And then I have it in the shade Eternal Sunshine. Let's see if it'll... Yeah, Eternal Sunshine. I really like this. I wear this one. And then I also wear this one, the Maybelline Color Tattoo in bold gold so that's what the color looks like and then name of it bold gold I really like these two I alternate wearing them back and forth and I just kind of use a eyeliner brush and I kind of make eyeliner with it like on the top and bottom and I just wear like waterproof mascara to the pool and it stays on like the whole pool time although of course I'm not like scrubbing out my eyes but it does work really nicely so I've been using these two and then the waterproof mascara okay this thing like all the covering came off so like that's what it you can just barely see it but it comes in a black and gold tube and it's the L'Oreal Paris waterproof voluminous carbon black mascara this works so good I do not like the brush though but I've I heard great things about this uh, on YouTube so I decided to get it and I just have been kind of putting up with the brush. I like the more thinner brushes, like that one's kind of poofy, um, but I really like this because it stays on quite well. And then I have a eyeshadow, it is the NYX eyeshadow in skin tight, so here I'll open it up. I've been using quite a lot of this and my makeup tutorial, I'll leave that in the down bar. I used this for my lid, and then the color is in skin tight. I said that weird. And then, okay, let's see. I've been using, okay, I, it, I just know that it's by Wet n Wild. Like, the covering came off, or I've sharpened it down so much, but it looks like this. You can get it at, like, any drugstore. It's just by Wet n Wild, and it's, like, it's a cream eyeshadow. But I just use it for my inner corner and it works so well. I use it every single day. It's just amazing. Um, for my lips, every night after like I wash my face and stuff, I will put on my mint oh, mint tulips, mint juleps. I think it's mint juleps lush lip scrub. It just looks like this. Um, it's really nice. I really like it. See, doesn't that look like a J or a T? Like I'm not sure. And then I've used a little bit of it. It was pretty expensive. It was $9. But it's lasted me quite a while. So I do like this. And it expires next year. So $9 a year. So <laughs> that's pretty good. And then right after I do that, I put on this little sample that I got on my birch box. I'll leave a link to my birch box, like July birch box. So I've only been using this for about 20 days. But that's still a while, a long time. And it's the Jouer Lip Enhancer Conditioner Conditioning Lip Treatment. And let's see. It works really well in my opinion. I really like it. And it leaves your lips like really conditioned. So I love that. And then let's see. I every night, like if I don't use that or just on a different day, I'll use my Co I can never say this. Co Bellagio Cinnamon Mensa Lip Balm Stick. So it looks like this. This was also in my makeup tutorial. It's really nice. It leaves your lips really like moisturized, if that makes sense. I really like this. And, okay, I have a brush. 
I really like this brush. It's by Sonia Kashuk. I had like a coupon. You can buy this at Target. I really like this and it's just perfect for like the lid. The brush looks like this. If you can see it works really well I really like this and it does and it like puts it on your eyes like really evenly okay two more makeup things I have the elf SPF 45 sunscreen UVA slash UVB protection pretty sure a lot of these things are my last favorites but just because of the summer I'm not trying too many things new but I really like this looks like this and I just put this on to because as SPF 45 I just put it on like if I'm going out and it's just really lightweight and it just makes your face not look shiny but because it, it doesn't do that much coverage but I don't really need too much coverage. Ooh, it's kind of getting dark now but I really like it. And then my last makeup thing is a blush that I got a while ago so it's super dirty. Um, I really like this blush. It's by NYC. It says Cheek Glow and okay, it looks like this. I took the brush out. And then the color is Hello Lover Pink. There we go. It's right there. I really like this brush. Blush. It's, I'll swatch it. It's like super pretty. Uh, and you can layer it up. Like that's me really layering it up. But it's super pretty and it just adds like a nice like flushy look to your face. And okay that's all for makeup and then I have a couple hair products so this is my favorite hairspray it's the Aussie mega hairspray and it's 14 ounces like this thing is huge it just looks like that it's really big and because it's really it's the flexible hold it's really lightweight like you can put a ton in your hair and it won't like do anything like I can put a ton in my hair and it won't feel like uh, like rock hard or anything. So I really like this about that product. I really like that about this product. product. And then another Aussie product is the Aussie Split End Protector. I really like this. I put it in my like the ends of my hair um, right after I get out of the shower. And I think it's working. My hair feels a lot health healthier. So it looks like this. And I really like how it has a pump. Like that's probably my favorite part of this. It's just easy to squirt into your hand. And then my last hair product is a Sun In Hair Lightener. I have it in the scent like Lemon Fresh. I really like this. And this works. Like this really works. Because I'll put it in my hair. Like you're supposed to put it like when the sun's shining and your hair is wet. And then the sun will activate it. And it works so nicely. Like, my hair lightens up after I use it, like, considerably. And you can notice a change. Although, I do have blonde hair. So, I don't know what it would look like if you had darker hair. Like, what that would look like. So, I have two body products. I have... Um, okay, this is by Bath & Body Works. It's their signature Vanilla's body lotion in the scent Lemon. It smells exactly like lemon, but not like too much lemon, just like the perfect amount. Ooh, I just put that all over my nose. But it smells really good. Like just the perfect amount of lemon because you don't want to smell like a lemon. This is a nice scent. And then I also have a Bath & Body Works Sun Kissed Berry Shower Gel. And I've been using this all month and like look how much I've used. Not a lot. Just a tiny bit. So this is going to last me quite a while. And I got those, both of them, when they were having their semi-annual sale. So they were each like $3. So that's really good. And then I have two more favorites. So <laughs> I've been chewing this gum all month. And I really like this gum. It's the 5 Cobalt Sugar-Free Gum. Like, it comes in a package like this. And then, like, this is probably like my 8th pack or whatever. I only have like 4 pieces left. It just is so good. And I really like minty gum because it doesn't leave like a weird aftertaste in your mouth. Like, a lot of fruity gum will. So, my candle favorite of the month is, I meant to put this in my last month's video, but this is my mom's candle, I couldn't find it. It is the Yankee Candle um, Sun and Sand. So, it looks like this. It's pretty big size. It's 22 ounces. Looks like this. There's the lid. This smells kind of like sunscreen. Like, we've used quite a lot of it, but it smells like just like the sun and sunscreen I smell sunscreen in it 
and it it just is like the perfect summer like summer if they took summer and put it into a scent like into a candle this is what it would be so that is everything in my little bin so thank you guys so much for watching i will leave my makeup tutorial and my brush box and i'll leave every all these listed in the down bar thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye